Do you use specific outlines for apprentice versus expert versus master at your studios? Outlines? Um, so I think what you mean is you've seen my audition form. Maybe I'm not sure if you've seen it or not, but I have an audition form and my expectations of performance are the same for app apprentices and experts, except for the speed. I still expect perfect isolation. I still expect perfect adhesion points. I still expect uh, symmetry and um, directionality to be perfect. You can't, you can't not have that shit down. It's just the timing. So that's what defines an apprentice first versus an expert. And with the apprentices, I usually give them, so experts, let's just, I just use classic as a baseline because volume is kind of just different for everybody. But classic is two hours for a full set. A refresh is one hour every two to three weeks. For an apprentice, we allow three hours for a full set and two hours for a refresh, but I encourage and I still think that's too long technically like you got to get just a little faster before you start but at least set a goal for cutting 15 minutes off every two weeks in the apprentice position depending on how many clients you're seeing so if you're only seeing a client a week or two or four clients a week you're not really gonna make that much progress because you're just not doing enough lashes but if you're doing like 10 to 20 hours a week of lashing I would say that's a good pace for you to to uh, progress and maybe I can make a little chart about that I think there's some kind of thing that I can make for you guys that kind of defines that a little bit better so I'll work on that good morning going that way. <laughs>